hi everyone and welcome to another how to video so today i'm going to show you how to draw and color using colored pencil so first thing first let's lay down the colors we're going to use <coughs> so when i'm drawing any kind of skin tone i always divide it into three parts the shadows the mid tones and the highlights so i'm going to start by by laying down the colors I'm going to use for each part. So first, I'll start off with a blue, and a dark blue, and then go to brown maroon, then light brown, then I'm going to go to brown, then peach, then pink rose. So for the shadows, I'm going to use dark blue, brown maroon, or walnut brown. For the mid tones, I'll use light brown or and brown, and for the highlights, I'll use peach and pink rose. So during when blending, I use peach or white color or just any color that it's in the highlights category. So for the shading. You can use any type, you can, start, you can use cross hatching, you can use hatching or just random shading. So when I'm drawing skin tones, I prefer starting from starting with the shadows. You can either start with highlights or from anywhere, but personally I prefer starting from, from the shadows. But I won't talk much about this sector since I made a step-by-step -step narrated video of how to draw a realistic eye. The link is down on the description. Feel free to start with any part. Some prefer starting off by the hair or by the mouth, but you can start off by any part. Also, before you start shading, um, pay attention to where light is coming from, um, where the, the light part and where it casts its shadow. For instance, you are facing the light directly, the forehead, the tip of the nose, the cheek, is going to be light while the down part of the jaw, chin and the sides of the bridge of the nose is going to be darker. But it all depends with where your light is coming from. So before you start coloring, pay attention to where light is coming from. Um, if it's directly in front of the face or the sides or any power down or up, Pay attention to where the shadows and the lights are. Try your best and 
and avoid using the black um, because it makes the colors look unnatural and unrealistic. So like for example for the shadow, instead of using black, you can use blue, you can use violet, you can use any dark brown, but don't use but you don't want to use black. So when I'm drawing I also use grabbers like for example a, a hard eraser, a pencil eraser to create highlights. So when coloring, um, um, also blend your colors together. Um, I personally don't have one specific color that I use for blending. I sometimes I can use peach, sometimes I can use brown, sometimes I can use white. So it just depends with the, the the skin tone that you are working with. So like for example this one. I'm going to use peach most of the times to blend and a little and a little white. So as I said earlier, um, when coloring, um, just continue coloring until you you get the the skin tone that you want. So like for example after after blending, um, color again, then blend, then color, then blend, then color until you get the the right the right color for a particular part of the face. So when I'm working with colored pencils, I also prefer to introduce markers to my drawings because they simply help increase the contrast of the drawing. So, like for example, the shadows. For example, mostly the mid tones. When you add some some marker, let's say for example orange or brown or just depending the with the skin tone that you are dealing with, it helps increase that color. So it makes the colors more richer. So we're going to head over to the hair and first before I start coloring the hair I prefer drawing the basic structure of the hair like for example the where I'm going to put my light where I'm going to put my shadow Don't be in a rush. Um, just do some single strokes of lines, two and four, and also pay attention to the light and the shadow where the light is striking the hair, because also the hair, it, yes, it's black, but it also has some light and shadow. So be patient with this part. Talk much about doing the hair and the and the mouth um, because I'm going to do a video of where I'm just focusing on on those two. So for the other parts of the body, like the shoulders, chest, and neck and hands, apply the same phenomena as the way we did on the face.
so that so that is enough for today um if you like you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if there is any part you, you feel i left out comment below or any other tutorial you want me to do um comment on the comments so thank you and see you in the next video